here's part three. This is um, chapter seven, the camera's adoring eye. So this is really when um, I think uh, Tony realized he wanted to contribute to the aesthetics of uh, sculpture, art, and that would be fulfilling for him. And I really genuinely think that he did want to do that. Um, so this is when Modern Classics came out, which I've shown before. Um, unabashedly full frontal, but edited, um, I guess, at the, on the, when the images were printed, they were, you know, the crotches were blurred, blurred out. Um, uh, here it states the first true physique photographers were Henry uh, van der Weyde, uh, Charles Eisenman, Napoleon Cerrone, B.J. Falk, and Mara. Uh, let's see. 1932. And he self-published this and Rhythm. So um, Modern Classics and Rhythm, he self-published uh, fairly cheaply, um, you know, the same size, um, and you know they were like fifty cents or a dollar, and then he raised the price of them. And there's the rhythm color cover. I love this sort of um, frontal. We hardly ever see his face like f like full on, and so we see his his uh, features, his eyes, his eyebrows, nose, mouth, pecs, and st the statue there. Um, and uh, Rhythm came out in 1935. So you can see some of the sample poses here. Here's a very nice photo of him uh, kneeling. And then there's Nude Leafs, 20 Nude Leafs, 1937. Um, so Nude Leafs was 20 uh, sort of like loose leaf uh, photos uh, by Townsend. And, um, you know, it was. Um, it's hard to find. I did talk to a seller who has one signed, complete. Uh, this was a cutout, so there was a circle there and that you could see one of the photos through that. Um, and there's a guy I know on Etsy that's selling them uh, individually. Um, the 20, he's breaking up a set, but he has a full set that's signed by Sansoni. I asked him how much it was and uh, yeah, it's quite, quite expensive, out of my range for now. Um, but again, amazing. He also has some letters too that I had mentioned uh, before uh, in his beautiful, in Tony's beautiful script, um, where he was talking about barbells and, and ordering things. Just lovely writing. Uh, when Sansoni uh, went to Townsend's brownstone apartment in 1929, he brought his costume from a, from the play and his bronze body makeup. Townsend instructed him to perform some warm up exercises to limber up for the poses, and they prepared and applied the bronze makeup to accentuate Sansoni's musculature. Townsend described the process, so this is Townsend's own uh, words. A thin paste is first made by mixing brown theatrical makeup powder with alcohol or water. This soon dries and looks thoroughly discouraging. It's as smeary looking and uneven as a child's first venture with watercolors. But then you apply a coat of olive oil for a while, the body will remain as, as smeary as ever, but gradually the heat from the body transforms the mixture. It begins to smooth out and finally set and present an even lustrous sheen with all the qualities of real bronze. Makeup is great improvement over ordinary grease paint. And best of all, it comes off very easily. You simply step under a shower and it washes right off. Sansoni's body is naturally dark and his skin is smooth and velvety in texture. Therefore, it takes the bronze makeup perfectly. Other athletes I have successfully photographed have occasionally found it necessary to first shave their bodies to obtain the best results. We don't know if uh, Sansoni uh, shaved, but his son, uh, Nino, in the photographs by George Platlines, he does have some chest hair. I actually have the George Platlines male nudes book um, that I will show at some point in the future. Um, and um, I was looking at it today, and I'm like, the prices of it are like six, eight hundred dollars. It's, it. I bought this book for like twenty dollars, like maybe five years ago, 
I guess there's, I guess, I don't know. I, I love George Platt lines. His, his beautiful, stark um, photography is really lovely. This is one of my, f another favorite of mine. This is from Rhythm, this one. But you here you can actually see the pubic hair. It's, it's not darkened out. He has this lovely, um, the foot. Look how large his foot is. I don't know his foot size. You see the rear, the glutamus. He has this beautiful, this chair, I love the chair. With the right model and technique, one can readily replicate Maplethorpe's black studies. For instance, but not Townsend, Townsend Sansoni. Um, it's kind of an interesting, and then it says Ta Townsend and Sansoni collaborated again in 1935, producing the booklet, they call it a booklet, Rhythm. Um, an author Lee wrote the photographs with bronze sculpture of Sansoni. Third booklet, actually a portfolio of loose photographic plates, uh, titled Nude Leafs, came out in 1937. The publication sold well in certain New York and Hollywood circles, as well as England and France. He'd sold, and by 1936, uh, Sansoni had sold over 15,000 copies of modern classics and rhythm combined, which is pretty remarkable since there was no internet. This is a lovely one. He actually has a bucket, a prop. Bronzy, beautiful skin. In several dance-like poses, Sansoni brilliantly portrays a satyr. Um, devilish being of classical mythology. A snapshot uh, taken circa 1929 shows Sansoni standing next to a copy of the dancing satyr of Pompeii, a Roman copy of the Greek statue at the National Museum Collection in Naples. This is actually Rudolph Valentino who is, you know, a beautiful man, um, but is he more beautiful than Tony? I don't know. Here's um, Alonzo Hannigan, um, who became a lot of New York. This is actually signed to him. I personally found Tony uh, to be a very gentle and cultivated person. When I met him in the 40s, he was still in good shape. He was one of the most prolific posers the sport has ever had. Every picture he took was unlike the present day bodybuilder. His pictures are works of art. That's Joseph Weider. He said that. Ah, oh, it's a beautiful one. I think this is probably, I would consider this one of the most, let's look at this better, one of the most explicit photos um, because of well, the foreskin, uh, revealing the glands. That's why I would say this is explicit. Plus, you see his two testicles on top of each other, uh, and they were quite uh, uh, quite full, hefty. Uh, beautiful profile, side profile, and you see his, his beautifully developed chest and um, arms there. Here he's looking quite bronze. Not the best uh, photo. This one's absolutely beautiful. I, I, I love how this, this one's broken up. He sort of has a sphere. Kind of a thrusting. His chin is down, which is very unusual. This is chapter eight, Sane Mind, Sound Body. And this is where the magazines come in. Um, Iron Man, Strength and Health, Physical Culture, Klein's Bell, Health and Strength, Superman, and La Culture Physique. La Culture Physique. Then there's Physical Culture, Superman, Physical Culture, uh, Strength and Health, which I've shown you my copy of Strength and Health. Physical Culture, very nice. Oh, here's a letter from Tony. It says, I agree with you when I say I would show up to greater advantage if I should get larger. I am trying to do just that, but really I prefer getting there slowly. Anyway, I've been handicapped the past year with a bad knee. I've had to have it operated on last October in 1930 for a floating semi-lunar uh, cartilage from which I have been left with a sort of weak knee. I cannot squat on it at all, even up to now. That's a bad setback for one who has had such a goal ahead of him as I have, but I have gone through smiling at the riddles of life, and hope to come out 99.9% .9 perfect. 
What a job, isn't it? We'll send new pictures soon. You'll like them. With best wishes, you may believe me. Your friend, Tony. Um, let's see. Sansoni described his theories of training to uh, Nizavokia. My training program has always been a greatly varied one. I do not believe a system exercise a system of exercises which is not so varied as to bring into action many of the muscles which lie dormant uh, will uh, will ever develop a nearly perfect physique. My own experience has proved to me that a proper system of exercises should not only strengthen and shape the muscles, but above all they should be elastic and adaptable for any special use that may be required of them. Skipping ahead, I have endeavored to facilitate my body culture studio here in Brooklyn. That's what he called his, his studios, body culture studios, as completely as possible to help awaken the many dormant muscles. Pull this, push that, bend, twist, stretch, jump, throw, lift. Um, I have a few rules as possible, and the more fun, the merrier. Too much, discipline, too much discipline takes the spontaneity out of the most ambitious youth, and a great deal of pleasure taking my own workout with the members. Once or twice a week, I play several games with handball or play a little table tennis, do handstands, or go through a few tumbling stunts as a break away from routine. I have a solarium on the roof of my studio, and fair weather, this is used daily. Sunbathing is one of nature's greatest medicines. He was fond of sunbathing nude, so I wonder on his studio if he actually did. Uh, it seems like he had no problem being naked. Um, Here's Studies in Masculinity. This was like a brochure. Um, 1939, Health and Strength, 1935. La Culture Physique. La Culture Physique. And then I love this one. This one's a lovely, lovely photo. A lovely rear. It's almost, this one looks uh, uh, almost modern. Um, it does look like a plat lines, but it's not. And it's most likely a Townsend. I think he and Townsend had a really good working relationship. Um, so, uh, let's see, I used to pose for a lot of paintings, photographs, sculpture. After all, I'd worked hard to bring myself at, to the peak of physical perfection, and I didn't see any reason why I shouldn't capitalize on it. Then one day, I, well, I guess I woke up. You've heard of people who couldn't call their soul their own. I couldn't call my body my own. Not only wasn't I my own boss, but I wasn't doing what I really wanted. I made a discovery, and instead of helping others with it, I was keeping it to myself. So I just quit. A long time ago, I discovered that people today, more than ever before, need a sort of armor to meet their rapid changes of the world they live in. For the past dozen years or so, one thing after another has knocked foundations out from under people. The old things changed too fast uh, for us to understand. The world we were born into isn't anything like today's world. Don't you see? How can anyone's mind carry the burden of today's trouble if his body fails him? That's so very true today. Very almost prophetic, but also relevant. Here's the duets. Here's some... Uh, the duets were where he was posing himself by Tony Sansoni, the dual view. And then there's, uh, you can, 304 Fulton Street, Brooklyn, New York. Inquire about home training course, Apollo, Adonis, and you. Uh, he says, teaching, yes, I'll always be doing that because teaching has become my life. But I have a dream uh, for the future too. A dream about, I hope I always, I will always, I always hope will come true one day. You've seen reproductions of Greek gymnasiums, great white pillared buildings. Well, that's what I hope will come true someday. Uh, here, as in ancient days, the proud strength and physical perfection can be built to house the nobility of mental keenness. But until that time, my dream does come true. I will go on finding my greatest happiness and giving strength to others because that's what counts, isn't it? Helping others to face confidently the turmoil of our modern living. It's actually quite, not prophetic, but kind of really in tune and here's Apollo, Adonis, and you, with some testimonials on the back of it. Lovely picture of him. And no 
another lovely picture of him. His hair looks like it's really shorter, but combed back. Kind of a very masculine, tight pose. And here I'll stop. Um, there's some letters, um, but I will stop there so we can... Let's see, I'm almost done with this book, so it looks like there'll just be one more part of the Tony Sansoni, The Bronze God. Thanks for watching. Oh, and let's look at this. I, it, this photo is absolutely amazing. And his legs look like they're together, pushing his, his junk out a little bit. Thanks for watching.